Oh my god, my pants are so tight right now. What's going on, guys? We're playing a little bit of Blacklight Retribution, and before you guys get out of the video like, oh my god, it's not Battlefield. Oh my god, it's not Call of Duty. It's not what you typically expect out of a game. I want to tell you a little bit about the game before we cut into the commentary topic today, which is actually schooling. But I want to talk a little bit about this game. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you all these crazy facts about the game, because I myself am not a master of this game yet. I played it a little bit for a beta, and I played it... Um, uh, for about an hour or two today, and I have to admit that I have had a different level of excitement. And I want to I want to let you know that there are different levels of excitement. I mean, there's the excitement when I found out I was going to have a kid. There was the excitement the first time I saw a pair of titties. There are different kinds of excitements. This one gave me one that I have rarely ever experienced, and um, it it popped my excitement cherry. It it so it so did. You guys are used to your standard titles. Every year you have this expectancy. This anticipation that you're going to get another title. Take, for example, the main ones. you got Call of Duty and Battlefield. You know that they're going to be releasing, you know, whether it's Battlefield, Metal One, or whatever. You expect a new title every year. It's something that you look forward to. You anticipate the excitement. You hope it's going to be as good as the next one, better than the last one. You know, you, you, you have all these expectations, but this excitement builds up. Is it going to be as good as the last one? All this stuff. So you have your mind wide open. Your mind is partially made up that you're going to love the game because it's in the same title and you've had similar experiences before. Rarely does it come. Uh, rarely does a game come out of nowhere and just completely sweep me off my feet. Look at that guy. See me? I did the splits right there. And this game has done it. It's given me this kind of excitement, this kind of feeling that I haven't had in a long time because I went in here open-minded, not sure what I would get out of this game, and I have had more fun in this game than I have on any other game. I mean, I love a lot of games. I've been trying a lot of these free-to-play games, a lot of cool games lately. Um, I've been playing Combat Arms a little bit, getting used to that. I love Ravage, and I love all those games. I've been playing them actually almost daily, because I'm trying to fill that void. I'm trying to find another game that I could that I could post up that's a good first-person shooter, because you know I love Battlefield, but I don't only want to be a Battlefielder. That's not what I want to do. I want to do Let's Plays, or I want to you know find another one. And I think that this could very well be the next game that I play as you know a counterpart, a you know. It's the Robin to my Batman of Battlefield. This could be that next game that I play. It requires a lot of skill, but it gives me this feeling in my loins that I haven't had since I played old school arena shooters. You know, like the, uh, you got like the Quake and the Unreal Tournaments. Now this isn't, it, I mean, it doesn't seem like those games, but it's different. I mean, it gives me that, that, that feeling, like the actual feeling, not like the controls, the way it moves, the way it looks, but the way I feel when I play this game is, how I did when I was younger, when gaming was all natural, when it was fun. I mean, you got skill, you got great weapons, you got just the visual part of this game is impressive too. Look at how great and amazing the game itself looks. And you got the abilities right there. I mean, you can see through the walls, find out what's going on. You got your standard game types that I think more games need nowadays. And they need to stay popular. You know, I miss those old school King of the Hill, you know, the James Bond, the perfect dark type things. This game has the domination. You have the capture the flag. You, you got all these random. I think there's capture the flag. You got all these random things, and this game is incredible. I love the accuracy. I love the recoil. I love the usefulness of guns. The balanced, even the pistols, actually do a little bit of work. You can customize your stuff, and just visually, this game is impressive as well. And you know, I, I'm done s and the d of this game, but expect to see a lot more out of this because out of all the ones that I've been playing and trying out, you know, Tribes Ascend and all these games, this is the one that hands down. I would have paid 60 bucks for this game. Like, I am dead honest serious right now that if another title like this comes out, it better be $60 because I want to pay for something like this. They deserve my money. There are so many games out there that, you know how many games I paid $60 on the last year and I've been disappointed with? You got Modern Warfare 3, you had Brink, you had so many games that I put $60 into and I didn't feel like I got $10 worth out of it. This game is free and I feel like I need to take a shot to the mouth to make it worth it. You know, I feel like I owe these guys something because the game is that fun that incredible, that well built, the way it moves, it, it's balanced, I haven't ran into any bullshit, I really have loved playing this game and I want to do some more of it, I want to get some games together with you guys and hopefully encourage some of my friends to do this and blow this game up and uh, that's where it is, but I also wanted to hop into the other topic for today and I want to talk to you guys about schooling, uh, many of you guys may know that I did drop out of high school, um, complications arose, I got pregnant, I you know gave the baby away. 16 years old, I wanted to get an MTV show, it didn't work out so well, so I fell into YouTube. And I think that schooling is changing, um, because nowadays, you know, the expectancies of, like, people in school, you know, you're like, oh, you need to get, you dropped out of high school, you need to get that GED. 
Motherfucker. Do you know that nowadays you're basically going to need some bachelor's degree to go ahead and work at McDonald's? Things are changing. You know, uh, you know how many times I've lied on my um, resume saying I've got a high school or equivalent graduate? Nobody checks that shit anymore. And here soon, just to get some of the standard jobs, I see so many people, like, especially in, like, you know, graphic work, uh, PC stuff, the, the saturation in all these really popular jobs, people with great-ass degrees, you know, fucking eight years of schooling are having to settle for just average jobs when, you know, they should be doing a lot more with, you know, the potential and, you know, balance that they they provided for themselves. They earned it. And... I'm seeing something change, and this is a prediction I have. You guys may be like, no, no. And I think it's bad, actually. I think it's bad. Um, I'm not thinking negatively on purpose, but I have a feeling that school is just kind of dying. And you guys are like, what are you talking about? Not necessarily college, but school. Um, it's becoming more and more acceptable for people to drop out of high school, school, whatever. I, I knew kids that dropped out of middle school. They're just badass drug-dealing motherfuckers, you know what I mean? And it was cool as fuck, though, because I had the one guy. He was a dealer, but he also... This was, he was the coolest fucking dealer I ever knew. He was like 13 years old. He was a little badass dude. And, um, you know, he'd sell drugs, but he also sold pixie sticks. <laughs> this motherfucker peddled everything. So you'd go to him at lunchtime, 25 cents for five pixie sticks. He'd hustle. His uncle worked at the uh, factory. So he'd get, like, a backpack full of pixie sticks every month. And he'd just pawn those bitches out and make, like, $500 a month. He'd just, just mad money. And uh, so he'd hustle those out, you know, like a dollar for five or however much it was, but he'd hustle it. And everybody had a sweet tooth, and, you know, you'd have 100 kids a day. He'd say, hey, let me get some of this. He'd make like 50 bucks a day. And, um, you know, things are changing. I mean, people are willing to overlook a lot of things nowadays. And I have a feeling, I have a fear that with everything changing, I mean, I'm seeing all these advertisements on TVs, and I even did a, I did my junior year on computer. I'm thinking that there's a, a lack or need of, an actual in-school thing. And I, I feel that, you know, the socialness is just going to just drop down. People are going to be awkward. But I have a feeling that everything is shifting to the Internet. It's just how it is. You can have teachers that can live stream uh, the entire courses. There's no need to go out into the weather or get sick or get AIDS or anything like that. You can stay inside and get obese and eat cupcakes all day long, but still get your degree. And I think that's the level that it is um, leaning towards. I'm afraid that that's how it's going to be for, like, you know, kindergartners and first graders here soon. I'm, I have this feeling that everybody can do this stuff. And I also have a feeling that the requirement to, you know, do school could be limited too. I have a feeling that, like, I've always thought that basically everything you need to know, like you absolutely need, the core needs for a person to survive, you learn in the first five years of your life in school. I, I learned how to add. I learned how to divide. I learned how to multiply. I learned how to spell my basic shit. That's all I really need to do. And I think with, you know, the lack of money for our education system going down, the, you know, all this shit that's going on, I think that the demand for our, you know, futures education and everything like this is slipping. I think that, you know, the college courses and everything like that and people that want to pursue it or, or families that can pursue it is definitely going to be out there. There's always going to be a need for those people to, you know, better our, you know, everything, our mankind, just, just everything we do and help us become better people. I have a feeling that that's always going to be there and there's always going to be college and school, but I have a feeling that. It's not going to be like a requirement anymore. If somebody wants to teach their kid five or ten years and pull them out, they should be allowed to. I think that's the kind of the way it's going to go. I think, you know, degrees are going to matter for the big time jobs, but education and high school diplomas and shit like that aren't going to be a goddamn thing anytime soon. And um, I, think that's, I think that's where it's switching. And I mean, you guys may disagree with me. You may have more insight onto the topic, but I really do have this fear that education is kind of going down the drain and... I mean, that could be great. Those guys that really want to pursue something or those people that push their students, they will benefit a lot more than the average kids. And, I mean, you know, things are turning the Internet. So I know 13- and 14-year-old kids that can write code like a motherfucker, dude. These guys could take down the entire infrastructure of our country. You know, these, these, there are tons of things that go down nowadays. And, I mean, the curve changes, too. I remember when I used to do stuff, you know, I, I brought my math homework home for the first time. And my father was like, what the fuck? They put letters in this shit now? Where'd that happen? And nowadays, you know, the, the kids, I mean, is a, a teacher's aide, and these kids are learning, you know, like calculus in like fifth grade and shit. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I think the demand is getting higher. The demand may be getting lower, but the actual courses are getting better. So, I mean, I, I think we're always giving ourselves more and we're bettering ourselves as people, but I think that it's going to start slowing down. Let me know what you guys think. Remember to leave a rating. Peace out, guys. Get it. Remember, the game is free to play. Go check it out on Steam. I'll leave a link down in there if you want to go download it yourself. Costs nothing, guys. Go play it. Go pick up a weapon. <clears throat> me and a burrito. Get me a burrito. I want a burrito. I want Chipotle.